In order to discuss what we do to make posts last, we need to skip quickly over the techniques that we don't do. Charring the end of a post works. I think it adds about 10% lifespan to the post, but it's a huge amount of work. Mike Ayler would wrap the bottom of posts with several garbage bags. The idea is to keep the water out. But if the post contains any water, which it does, the bag would hold that water in and cause rot. On the other hand, Mike's original PSP house had no issues at 45 years old. I have a strong aversion to concrete for a lot of reasons. But the real reasons are that some concrete mixes are watertight, so they hold the moisture in. And some mixes are not watertight, so they will wick water to the wood. Our four-part recipe starts with a big five-foot eave. The water that lands five feet away typically never wicks more than a foot or two. Part two augments the large eave. Earthworks direct water away from the posts. So water that might be thinking of wicking towards the post is whisked downhill. Part three, our post footer is big rocks with a bit of gravel on top. Water in the post can drain out and any water that attempts to tickle the toes of the post can't get past the big rocks. And finally, a gravel wrap. Water in the post gets out and water in the soil cannot get to the post. Most post rot happens where damp soil meets the air. The damp soil is loaded with microorganisms that need water and air to do their rot ballet. The part of the post that is simply exposed to dry air lasts the longest. This technique is an attempt to nearly eliminate moisture and soil in a natural way. No toxic gick, no concrete, no plastic, just rocks and wood.